All right, hey guys, it's Davis. Uh, Jenny's at work, it's my day off, so I thought I'd throw you guys another video. Um, I know we said we'd be cutting back on some videos, but we still wanna give you as much content as possible during this transition time. So, like I said, right now we're focusing on trying to make a little bit of money for the business so we can continue to do more videos long term until the channel can support itself. So, our big plan with selling furniture locally is we're going to design the furniture here in SketchUp, we're going to build a prototype, and then we're going to take a whole bunch of really nice pictures of the prototype of the piece of furniture we want to sort of mass produce. And what we'll do is we'll set up a web page, I've already done it, and we'll put all the pictures of the prototype that we've made, and then we'll run Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube ads to our local community and just accept pre-orders for like two weeks. So it'll be on a timer. We're gonna make one run of all of the things that we're gonna make. In this case, it'll be a desk and we'll just accept pre-orders for two weeks. And then as many orders as we get, people will have already paid, checked out, we'll build them all. And then a friend of ours owns a restaurant and we're gonna set up in his parking lot and just deliver all the tables. That's kind of our plan moving forward. Um, and then we'll do that every couple of weeks. We'll just have a new project, a new type of furniture. We'll run ads, see how many pre-orders we can sell and just batch them out. That way we don't have to deal with an inventory problem. That way we can build everything to order. We can offer a few customizable options for each piece of furniture. Hopefully this will all make sense as I'm drawing it here in SketchUp, but I wanted to include you guys in the loop of what we're doing because you're the reason we're doing all this anyway. Let me back up. We're gonna make a modern style desk and we're gonna basically just take a whole bunch of two by sixes, line them up, glue them into a panel. That'll be the top and then screw some hairpin legs to each corner and then that'll be the desk. It'll be very simple, very cheap, very easy to build, very easy to mass produce, and we're hoping it'll just be the first thing that, to get us off the ground. We're trying to figure out right now what the style of our community is. They seem to lag behind, maybe 20 years behind the curve of what's popular. Like for example, all the houses being built right now are straight out of the 90s and early 2000s. Lots of dark stained oak, lots of like vinyl siding. It, it, they really just look like houses straight out of the 90s or early 2000s. All the mission style and it's kind of a weird pocket in the United States, but we're just gonna throw some stuff out there and see what sticks. So let's get started. So R for rectangle, you're gonna draw a rectangle and a two by six is gonna be 48 inches long and it's gonna be 5.25 inches wide. Now I know that may seem like that's not the standard dimension, but we're gonna trim off the edges of each side so we don't get that factory round over from the lumber mill. Um, P for push, pull, pull it up. Whoop. Pull it up, 1.5, spacebar, triple click, G for component, enter. J Bates taught me, or in the videos, taught me how to use SketchUp, so I'm just gonna narrate all my commands. It's just easy for me to think of it that way. So. Uh, M for move, control brought up, copy, that's what I copied over, and I want to do it three times. I'm recording this again because I just recorded this whole thing and I did it four times, which gave me five planks across, which is the wrong dimension. So, anyway, uh, so we got those four, and that's going to be the dimensions of the desk. So, it's going to be about 21 inches deep and 48 inches long. So, we got that there, boom. So, I'm going to go ahead and select all of this. G for component enter, so that's gonna be one component. So I'm gonna move this up on the blue axis, 28 inches. Cool, and now we're gonna go into the 3D warehouse because someone was very nice and went ahead and got me some 28 inch hairpin legs. That's the cool thing about SketchUp is that if somebody builds something, then um, it's pretty much automatically loaded into the 3D warehouse if they decide to publish it there. So uh, a lot of times you can um, you can find some neat things there. So I'm gonna move this until it's on the face of the component. I'm gonna move this till it's on the face of the component. Cool. And now, uh, I need to rotate this. So Q for rotate on the red axis, 90 degrees, move, move that there. So that's on the face, and then move this here until it's on the face. Cool. Now it's on the corner, which that looks a little dopey. We don't want that to be the desk. Um, you don't want them all the way in the corners. You want a little bit of an overhang. So we're going to take these and we're gonna move 
in two inches and then we're going to move this in two inches. We'll copy that by four and see how that looks all the way around the table. So we're going to take this, we're going to move uh, Q for rotate. The control brings up copy, so I'm going to make a copy of this as I'm rotating it, which I want to rotate it 90 degrees that way, and then move this. Boom. Okay, cool. There's that. So what we want to do is we want to select both of these. Hold shift to select both. In for move, control brings up copy. Move these on that red axis. What, like 39 inches. And then we want to flip along the red direction. And then let me just, no, that doesn't look very far. So we'll take the tape measure and we'll go in. We'll just go in two inches. And then we'll take both of these, move them until they hit right about there. So that's our two inch mark. Go ahead and get rid of this. Sweet. And that's our table. Cool. And then it's, uh, the dimension doesn't work into the middle of nowhere, but uh, it's like 29 and a half off the, off the floor. So, there we go, uh, it's 29 and a half ish, you understand. Um, yeah, that's it, let's add some color. So our legs are gonna be black, powder coated. All right, let me show you the legs I got real quick. I got these off of Amazon and they're just black, powder coated, probably from China. Anyway, um, yeah, so we got this. And then we're gonna offer three different stain choices. So the first one will be kind of like a light chestnut, which is what we finished the built-in desk with. If we have some stain left over, we'll do that. Another one is just gonna be the plain pine finish. Uh, we'll just put some water-based polyurethane on it and call it a day. And then the last one will be a darker stain, like a dark walnut or Jacob bean, something like that um, color stain. So that, that way people can get a little bit of choice on what the design's gonna be. But basically this is it. I think this is a good sized desk. Um, it's deep enough that you could put a desktop on it if you really needed to, but nowadays most people just have a laptop or an iPad or something like that. Um, that with a couple of legal pads or like a mail holder. I, I can really see this table going anywhere. This can go by your entryway. This can go um, off in the side of your kitchen somewhere if you just need a tiny little desk in the corner of, of, a, of another room. Uh, I think this is a really good piece of furniture that's really versatile. It's not dedicated to, to any one use. Um, and that's kind of the whole point of us like mass producing this kind of furniture is that anybody can use it just about anywhere in their home. So we're trying to, you know, reach the most number of people um, at a pretty low cost for what it is. And again, I'm not trying to sell this furniture to someone who sees that and says, oh, well, I could buy the hairpin legs and that's just two two by sixes. I can do that. That's not the person I'm trying to sell to. I'm trying to sell to the person that sees that kind of stuff, wants it, but doesn't necessarily want to put in the work or the time to build it, which isn't bad. I mean, you know, a lot of people are busy, so they probably got kids and some other stuff. So if they can have this in their home, then that's kind of what we want to do. So hopefully this will be a good pro first project for us to make a little bit of cash as well as, um, yeah, just made more content for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this is something that you got a little bit of value out of. If not, please let me know. Uh, and we won't do this again, but if you did enjoy it, if you did like seeing how we're gonna design this kind of stuff, and we'll do some longer ones in the future. I already had designed this in my head before I started in SketchUp, and again, this is a really easy build, but this is just kind of a concept of another style of video that I wanna start publishing to the channel. If So let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, thanks for being patient with us. We hope to get back to our regular publishing schedule very soon. Go ahead and hit that like button if you like the video. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. If you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber, I'm really surprised, but you're gonna like a lot of our project videos that we've got coming out. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button there. Also, if you wanna see us do more videos sooner, go, go back to our three videos a week schedule, go ahead and support us on Patreon. There's a link down in the description. I can't put it in the little card thing just yet. Um, but yeah, if, if that's something that you feel like you want to do, um, that's available to you. Otherwise, don't worry about it. And uh, yeah, have a great day.